Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to get the last refresh date in Power BI and there's a hidden secret in it. So watch this video till then to get more clarity about it. It's a real world case and solution in Power BI. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI file and in this I want to add the last refresh date of the data. For that you need to go to transform data. So home and then transform data. It will open up the Power Query editor. On the left side of the queries pane, you need to right click here and then new query and blank query. Open the advanced editor, home and then advanced editor. It will open up like this. Here, instead of this double code, you just need to type date time dot now. So whenever you type this one, it will give up this list here. So I'm using this one date time dot local now. Once it is done, click done. Stay tuned. So just click here and then convert this into a table. Now this change to table now. You can now you can rename the table as last refresh date. Double click here. Last refresh date time. You can also rename the column. So double click the column and then last refresh date time. Click here to convert this into a date time. Date time. Now this the date time has changed here. So this is the date time of the current system. Now if you refresh this one, for example, it is changing here the values. So 640. 54 now changing again is 64102. So close and apply. Here's the table, and I want to show this as a card. So clicking here and changing it to a card visual, changing the text size instead of 45 to 20. That's it. So if you look at this one, this is the last refresh date time. So 7, 11, 6, 41, 36. Now if you refresh the whole table, all the tables in this file, the time is 6, 41, 36. Now it's changed to 642.44. Likewise, if you refresh only a single table, say for example, like this, I right click here and then refresh data. This refresh only this specific table means the last refresh date time is not going to make an impact here. It will be the same. So, whenever you refresh the data, you have to refresh the whole thing. But never mind about this because if you publish this report into Power BI service, then anyway, it is going to refresh all the tables inside to this file. So you're going to get the latest date over there. So that's one thing. Now let's publish this report in the Power BI service. Select the workspace. Select. Success. So let's open this file in Power BI service. So last refresh is 6.42 in Power BI service as well as the same thing in Power BI desktop. Now let's refresh the data in Power BI service. So go into this workspace. Last refresh date time. So this is the one. So it is 6.49 here. I just want to refresh again. It is refreshing. 
so it's 652 the time has changed here so let's go to this report and then refresh if you look at here the date time has changed to 121 it might be strange for you right so actually it has to be 652 as per this one but it has changed to 121 the reason is this is the hidden secret i am want to tell you about this one even though the refresh time it shows here in public service is your local time but the report which is showing it here inside this power bi report in power bi service it is utc it's not uh, your local time is the utc time so this will make a um, misinformation for the end user even though you are developing this report on power bi desktop when you publish this report in power bi service and when it gets refreshed it is going to show you the wrong date over there wrong date and time over there in order to avoid this, you have to make some tricks quick in the Power BI desktop report itself. So let's go to Power BI desktop and make some changes on that. So going here, as this comes the local date time here in Power BI desktop, this one, let's go to this table and add a new measure. As I am from India, so the IST, the time difference between the UTC and IST is plus 530 hours. So I need to add a new measure here. Click here and then new measure. Last refresh date time equal to max of last refresh date time. It doesn't matter whether it is maximum or minimum because we have only one record over there. Plus I'm going to add a time to that. So time we have function so time. I need to add 5 hours of 30 minutes comma 0 seconds so that's the plus 530 if you are on different location you can add your time respectively here plus 7 plus 8 or minus 10 or minus 5 something like that based on your time zone you can just check it out and add the time difference here but the only thing is when it comes to daylight savings it may not work but for the other things it will work out here so commit now even for the daylight timing also you can do that by using additional DAX functions we will discuss this um, in a few moments so let's first clear this one so add this measure as a code in this the same thing i'm going to copy this format option here and then paste it here So I'll just rename this one as UTC. And this is the one IST. Now let's publish this report again into Power BI service. Even the time it shows here is 12, 12. I'm publishing again. got it so let's go to power bi service and refresh this one now here the date time it shows here the utc it shows the correct time and the ist it shows the difference here right so let's refresh this one refresh the data now it's changed to 657 i'm going to refresh this here See, now the time has changed. The ISD is correct now and the UTC is changed to 1.27 AM. So if you keep this one inside your report, then the end user will have the correct date time in that report. But whereas in your Bobby desktop, you will have a different date time here. So that's the different thing here. Now, when it comes to daylight saving, what you have to do here in this measure itself you need to write the functions like if the current date something like this if today is greater than the first of november of this year and today is less than the 31st march of the year then i need this timing 
plus 530 or else you have to add the 430. In that case, we can easily consider this daylight savings throughout the world. So these are the three ways you can get the last date time inside the Power BI. One is using the local date time, which is working in Power BI desktop, but not in Power BI service. One is using the date time with the UTC time difference, which is perfect working on Power BI service, but not in Power BI desktop. For the developers, it may not help. And the last thing is you can also keep the same way. In addition to that, you can add the daylight savings as well. I hope you got this uh, clear understanding of the last date time refresh and its hidden truth inside to that. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.